Hi all, today we start discussing uh, section 4.3. This is the last section of uh, module 1. Uh, in this section, we start with a definition, increasing and decreasing function. Uh, I think you might have seen these definitions in your plus 2 classes. Uh, let f be a uh, function uh, defined on an interval i and let x1, x2 be any two points of the uh, uh, the interval i. So we have an interval like this uh, and choose any two points x1 and x2. Okay, uh, a function defined on this interval. If you choose an arbit the two arbitrary elements x1 and x2 from this uh, interval and it satisfies, f satisfies this condition. Uh, if x2 is greater than x1 then f of x1 is greater than f, f of x2 is greater than f of x1. Okay, that means the higher point, larger point or greater point has the greater image. So this is x1 and this is x2. Then uh, once you uh, find the uh, image of x1, then that image of x2 uh, satisfies this condition. So uh, function is like this. So whenever this is the image of x1 and I mean you, you have uh, you have seen the image of this, uh, I, I, I write it as, I draw it as like this. So this is our x1 and this is our x, uh, x1 and this is our x2. So whenever this happens, we can, the, this is not only for uh, 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 typical, two typical elements. This should be true for every x1 and x2. We can say that f, uh, this f is uh, increasing function. Okay. Uh, for uh, any x1 and x2 with this condition x1 is less than x2 but f of x1 is greater than f of x2 okay then we can say that this is a decreasing function so th this is also uh, uh, should be true for uh, all x1 x2 with this choice x1 is less than x2 then f of x2 is less than f of x1 for all x1 and x2 then we can say that f is decreasing okay a function uh, that is decreasing or increasing uh, on i is called monotonic functions. Okay, uh, there are some functions uh, uh, which is not. Uh, that means I, I I take a function say sin x. Uh, when you consider sin x, then uh, if you choose a point pi by two here, and this is our pi, and this is three pi by two. Uh, when you consider sin x uh, on the interval zero to two pi. So we can never, uh, this sin x is neither uh, increasing nor decreasing because when you take two points x1 is equal to pi by 2 and x2 equal to pi, in this case we can say that uh, f of x1 that is sin, sin x1, sin x1 is 1 and sin x2 is 0. So here uh, pi by 2 is less than uh, pi, you can get uh, sin x1 is greater than sin x2 okay uh, so we tend to uh, uh, say that this is decreasing here okay but uh, this function is not decreasing neither decreasing not uh, nor uh, increasing in this interval because uh, from this you can say that this is not increasing okay using this uh, we can say that sin x uh, is not increasing okay so uh, when you take uh, x1 is equal to pi by 2 and x2 is equal to uh, some uh, uh, some value say uh, uh, 3 pi by 2 you can get uh, sin x equal to sin x1 is equal to 1 and uh, sin uh, x2 is equal to uh, I'll take this uh, x1 instead of x1 we take x1 is equal to pi and x2 is equal to pi by 2 so sin x1 is equal to 0 and uh, the sin x2 is again uh, minus 1 okay now we take some other points say uh, this uh, uh, x1 is equal to 3 pi by 2 and x2 is equal to 2 pi in this case you can get sin x1 as uh, negative 1 and sin x2 as uh, 0. So uh, from uh, this point uh, using this point we can say that this is not increasing anyway increasing because uh, uh, 0 is less than uh, this uh, pi, pi, pi is less than 3 pi by 2 uh, but uh, 0 is not less than okay 
uh, not less than minus 1 so you can say that this is not increasing from this point you can say that this uh, x1 is 3 pi by 2 uh, is less than 2 pi uh, but uh, the sin x1 that is minus 1 uh, which is not greater than uh, 0 so from this you can say that this sin x is uh, not decreasing okay uh, uh, that means the sin x is neither decreasing nor increasing in this interval but there is an interval uh, at which the sin x is increasing when you take 0 to pi by 2 then at that interval we can say that the sin x is increasing if you take another uh, interval like this uh, pi by 2 uh, from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 you can say that that function is decreasing and from this interval to this the function is again increasing so uh, uh, altogether this sin x is not neither increasing nor decreasing okay so there are some functions which are uh, neither increasing nor uh, decreasing but uh, if a function which is increasing or uh, a function which is uh, uh, decreasing are called the monotonic functions okay this is the uh, first definition uh, now we have a theorem this is what we call first derivative test for monotonic functions so how will you prove this uh, we, uh, the statement is f is continuous on a b and differentiable on open interval a b then f dash x greater than 0 at each point then f is increasing so uh, that means deri the positive derivative implies the f is increasing on an uh, interval a b okay similarly negative derivative implies f is decreasing so how will you prove uh, we have an interval a b open interval a b here uh, uh, first we assume f dash x is greater than 0 and we take we need to prove that this f is increasing so we take arbitrary elements x1 and x2 say x1 is less than x2 then uh, we consider this interval inside a b and apply mean value theorem in this interval since this function is continuous and differentiable on a b this f is differentiable and continuous on x1 and x2 in the interval x1 x2 then uh, by mean value theorem there exists a point c in between x1 and x2 such that f dash c is equal to f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 okay this is the uh, uh, statement of mean value theorem so therefore we can write this is f of x2 minus f of x1 equal to f dash c into x2 minus x1 so uh, our assumption is f dash x is 0 for every x in between a and b so this is greater than 0 and x2 minus x1 is also greater than 0 uh, because uh, x1 is less than equal to x2 so this can be this is strictly greater than 0 then you can say that this is strictly greater than 0 this shows that f of uh, x2 is greater than f of x1 whenever uh, x2 is greater than x1 so this shows that f is increasing this proves the first part now we assume f dash x is uh, less than 0 then the same thing happens uh, f of x2 uh, minus f of x1 uh, equal to f dash of some c into x2 minus x1 uh, using the mean value theorem but here our assumption is this is less than 0 and this is greater than or equal to 0 so the product is negative one is positive and next is uh, less than or equal to 0 so this is always less than uh, 0 uh, then we can say that this uh, this is also greater strictly greater than 0 uh, here also we have strictly greater than 0 because x1 and x2 are two distinct points with x1 is less strictly less than x2 so this is uh, uh, this f of x2 minus f of x1 is negative that is f of x2 less than f of x1 whenever x1 less than x2 this shows that f is decreasing so uh, when you assume f dash x is greater than 0 then f is increasing and f dash x is less than 0 for all x then x, uh, f is uh, decreasing this is uh, the proof of the second part so uh, now we can say that the first derivative theorem is proved uh, now we will discuss this problem find the critical points of f of x and identify the intervals on which f is increasing or decreasing to uh, find the intervals first we evaluate the critical points the critical points are uh, the points uh, for which f dash x equal to 0 over f is not differentiable since this is a polynomial so this is always differentiable in order to therefore in order to get the uh, critical points we need to equate the derivative equal to 0 that is 3 uh, x, this symbolize 3 x square uh, minus 12 
uh, equal to 0. This is the derivative of this. Uh, this implies uh, 3 times uh, x square minus 4 equal to uh, 0. That implies 3 times x minus 2 into x plus 2 is equal to 0. So the critical points are critical points are x equal to 2 and x equal to minus 2. Now you divide in order to get the interval you need to divide the whole real line uh, using these critical points. Uh, this is our interval. This is our R uh, real line. We have two critical points uh, 2 minus 2 and 2. Now this splits the uh, whole real line in, uh, into three intervals minus infinity to minus 2 uh, and we have 2 minus 2 to 2. This is another interval then 2 to infinity. These are the three intervals. In order to verify uh, uh, increasing uh, the function is increasing or decreasing in this interval, we need to choose an arbitrary element from this say minus 3 and evaluate uh, put x equal to minus 3 and evaluate uh, f dash minus 3 f dash of minus 3 is uh, this f dash x is equal to this 3x square minus 12. So that is 3 times uh, 9 minus uh, 12 uh, that is uh, 27 uh, minus 12. Anyway, this is greater than 0. This, this implies uh, f is uh, increasing since the derivative is positive increasing in uh, minus infinity to minus 2. Now you choose an arbitrary element from this we can choose uh, x equal to 0 uh, that is a trivial one and evaluate f dash 0. f dash 0 is minus 12 then we can get this is always less than 0. This implies f is decreasing decreasing in minus 2 to 2 and finally we choose an arbitrary element from this we can take it as 3 that implies f dash of 3 that will give the same thing 27 minus 12 uh, that is always greater than 0 implies f is uh, increasing increasing in uh, 2 infinity. So this is the way we uh, uh, find out the intervals at which this f is increasing or decreasing. So here the function is uh, decreasing uh, this is uh, from this interval we can say that minus infinity to minus 2 and infinity here we have increasing here we have decreasing and here we have again increasing. So this is the nature of the uh, uh, this function. So this is an application of the first derivative test.